All right, now that our model is ready and the materials are done, the next step is to create the interactivity for the head movement and also for the lights. What I want to do is uh, I want to select my face and I'm going to have a lookup event and then I'm going to put here 2000 and then I'm going to select our body and our cloth and it's going to be a body and then I'm going to hold out and command and click on body so I can select only the parent and then I'm just going to put it somewhere around here and for our body there is also going to be a lookup and this time it's going to be something like 4000 so if we play this animation now you can see our face is looking but it's not quite there so let's uh, for the face maybe we can use something like 1000 yeah that's a lot better yeah that's much better so the body is moving a little bit but the head is moving faster okay so another thing that I want to do is I want to create um, a sphere so let's create a sphere here very small sphere maybe something 16 by 16 and then uh, let's disable the lighting and let's make this sphere somewhere um, like this and I'm also going to create a point light which is going to be more or less in the same position of this sphere so actually both of them should be more in here but the point light is going to be something like uh, red and high intensity but uh, a small distance so it's going to be a very very small distance right there And then for our spheres, let's um, disable shadows. And for our lights, let's also disable shadows. So for both of them, I want to use a follow event. Here, follow event. So then when I move this, you can see that it's going over the head. And now what I want is that, well, I want to set all of these objects and I want to move them just a little bit to the top. So that's going to be like my default position. And finally, another thing that we could do is that we can have some reactions. Like for example, our eyes could be smaller when the light is going over the face. So we can select both eyes, we can create a group, command G, so it's going to be eyes. Let's create another state and in this state we can have maybe half or the scale of our eyes. So what we want now is that when we hover the face we want to change the state of the eyes. So let's say here a mouse hover event and then we change the eyes to a state this and then this is going to be maybe like 0.1 now let's see how that look, looks like yeah you can see it's doing something fun there but maybe it could be more bouncy so let's use a spring and see how that looks like okay that's good but it's too slow maybe it could have a smaller mass let's say 0.5 and a higher velocity like 20. yeah that's a lot better maybe we can move the eyebrows a little bit to the top we can create an event for each eyebrow so for example let's create an event here it's going to be more like this and like this and for this other eyebrow another state will be like this and like this something like that and then for the face again we have a couple of objects eyebrow left tape and then spring maybe 0.4 20 or 0.6 and then the other eyebrow stay spring 0.6 and 20 let's see how that looks like yeah <laughs> that's uh, very interesting basically it's like getting a little blind when the eye is getting closer so that's pretty cool all right, so now that our interaction is ready, we need to make a few adjustments. As you can see here, if I start click and dragging, I get this weirdly behavior. So one idea to avoid this is to 
go here to the export and we can disable the orbit. That uh, weird behavior that we saw before is happening because you are rotating your camera and at the same time the head is trying to point to your cursor so you get into a rotation conflict. So you just need to disable orbit and that will prevent the issue. So if I go here again, you can see that now if I try click and drag in, nothing is, nothing is happening. All right, so now that our interaction is ready, the next step is to start working on some alternative designs. All right, see you in the next video.